Artists need nature, even if your art has nothing to do with it. Nature has lessons to be learned within it through simple observation. And when we recognize the consistencies that exist within the natural, we start to notice the same patterns playing out in our life. As we and our art grow big, similar to a tree, and our spirits will always be connected to the divinity of nature. Have you ever noticed how when you're in nature, it's impossible to photograph the beauty of the sun, the subtleties of the moon, the iridescence of the lake that reflect perfectly like a mirror, the intense colors, the high frequencies, it all gets dwindled by the lens and the abundance of the energy all around you grows scarce. This reminds me a lot of us as artists and how behind the camera, our beauty and the uniqueness of our art can never truly be captured. And yet, we rely on videos and pictures to tell us how unique and beautiful we are and our art is. Nature doesn't need the virtual world to be beautiful, to be sacred, and to be treasured, and neither do we, and neither does our art. In fact, the only way to truly understand the spirit of the natural world is to immerse yourself in it, go into nature. I was raised in somewhat of a concrete garden with harsh angles of buildings and plastic GMO plants and fluorescent lighting all around me. When I was young, it felt like everything was fake. This frightened me and made me feel isolated from those that felt okay in this environment. It felt like I was the last person there without a synthetic existence and I needed out. My genetics felt organic in the sense where I knew who I was and I knew that I needed more real and less virtual. I began to notice that whenever I took trips to the beach an hour out, specifically for the sunrise before school, I started to feel a surge of energy within my soul that I was missing in my hometown. I knew from that point that the sun and the earth provides me with all that I need. Similar to a tree, no one can dig up our roots as artists. We don't budge. They are too deep in the soil for the outside to destroy us. No matter what, we will always be creating. No matter who or what tries to take our creativity from us, our character, our uniqueness, we are always ourselves persevering and creating through the nonsense. Centered in who we are, artists. No matter who tell us we can't, it's too crazy. Everyone's uninterested, how could we ever compete? We know what we were made to do and we know what makes us happy and no words can take this from us. It is ours and it is our nature. Like the river flows, there is no forcing anything when we are ourselves. Forcing yourself into a box, forcing yourself to make things that don't flow naturally to you, won't get you anywhere. Like the ocean, the mainstream comes to us when we are truly ourselves and we work closer and closer to get to our highest power within. We get further. The people we seek come to us
I don't have to pretend to be someone else in order for people to like me. The right people flow to me when I am more me. A flower never knows its power, it just is. It's just nature for us to flourish and grow big as artists. There is no need to try and there is no need to inflate your ego. We do not have to tell ourselves we're amazing and beautiful just like a flower. We do not have to trick ourselves into feeling it either. We just need to be, and we are. Simply being creates endless success, abundance, and prosperity. If an artist is who we truly are, then have no fear. All we have to do is be, and all we have to do is create and it is just nature for us to flourish and grow big. The Most High made me perfect in the same way the Most High made nature perfect. My flaws are the thing of beauty, character, and uniqueness. I could spend all day focusing on things I don't like about myself, about my art, critiquing them, analyzing them down to the finest detail, proving to myself why I don't deserve love or success and never create the things I want to. Or I could reawaken myself to the truth that these imperfections are what give me and my art character. I can choose to focus on them in a way that reminds me that they are a part of me and they are a part of my creations. And this could be the reason why someone loves me, loves my art, makes me relatable, makes me strong, makes me who I am. I love myself. If I don't, then who will? I affirm myself all the time naturally. It comes from a genuine place of understanding. When I say I am beautiful, I do not mean I have a gorgeous figure according to the world's standards. I mean that my highest self is beautiful when I am truly being myself. I have power. I have love within, and that is beautiful. In the same way the ocean is beautiful, the plants and the river. What it truly means is that I should never forget who I am, deep down inside, my highest self, that wants what's best for me, and who I feel closest to when I am amongst the trees, when I am being myself, and when I am creating art for the sake of creating it, without any expectations or hopes for accomplishments in the outside world. We have to tell ourselves, I want to be just like the artist in the mirror, because who could ask for more? Tell yourself, I look good, paint well, I've got it going on, or whatever your art form. Awaken yourself with this phrase. Say it three times like it's a contract and live through the truth of you. I don't compete with other artists in the same way it would be crazy to compete with the ocean or compete with the sun. These artists are unique, complete, and perfect as they are and I am too with, within who I am. So I just create. I am a creator and it is natural to me.
I speak my peace and the right people hear me and understand me. I don't debate because I don't waste my energy on those that are not for me. Debating is playing in the mind, confusing me from my highest purpose, and I would rather stay focused, creating what I set myself out to. There is no argument to be had with anyone, only compassion, understanding, discernment. If you look closely enough at nature, it tells you all these things, it teaches you all these things. And all you have to do is immerse yourself in it.